Hi, I'm Christina from Two Peas in a Bucket. Welcome to another Christina's Picks video. It is frighteningly busy around here right now. We have so much stuff coming in every single day, new product. And next week I'm going to be at CHA, so um, I may not have time to do um, a sample layout myself, but you'll definitely be seeing videos and pictures and all kinds of stuff of picks and products that we love from CHA. So um, let's get started with this one this pick this week. Um, this week it is the Dear Lizzie Fabric Papers. Um, I know I've done something with the Dear Lizzie Fabric Papers before and I think I told you at that time that I was trying to test them and, and, um, and doing different things like tearing with them and I was unsuccessful at that point but I continued to try to make that work for me and I did this week. Um, so I was just going to share with you how I did that too but this is all of the different fabric papers. Um, they had the original ones that they came out with with the first of her release in the spring it had just a few um, patterned ones in and some stripes and this really great polka dot right here I love this one um, and this um, yellow one with the yellow roses very springy and then they came out with a second release where they did all of these solid colors and like this yellow polka dot and the hearts which I absolutely adore and this um, really great one with a lot of um, like doily kind of hearts, or I'm sorry, circles, all kinds of fun stuff. And of course, there's this signature one with this great banner that she has and her little signature dress and the little clocks and flowers. Um, I love this quote. The way to know life is to love many things. I think that's so cool, and I love that she put that on there. Um, but so they have came up with all kinds of solids, too, to coordinate with it, and there's so many different things you can do with this. One of the things I'm going to try to do next is to cover a chipboard album with them because the adhesive that is on the back of it makes it so that the paper is really thick. And even when you've got the adhesive on it, it's still really thick. And so when you try to wrap it around chipboard, um, like if you, if you had other papers, you'd probably pull it and distort the fabric a little bit. But this is so thick that um, there really isn't any way that you're going to distort the design at all. So you can see on this one, actually, how I ended up tearing this. What I did was I um, cut a slit like you would do with any normal fabric. And um, I attempted to separate it from its... Well, th I did it this way first and did this and then tore it and on most cases you can see what happened. It actually pulled away from the adhesive backing that's attached to the fabric. Um, in this case what it actually did was left a small bit of paper, you can kind of see right here, a small bit of the paper layer on the back of it, but it's um, since it's just a tiny bit of that paper, this a, a few of the fibers in that layer, it still makes the fabric so it's pliable. Um, wh whereas in some cases it actually lifts completely away, and then it's actually more like a fabric, and you can do anything that you want with it. What's kind of cool about it is that when you rip it, it still gives you that great frayed edge. Um, that when real fabric would do if it didn't have adhesive on the back of it. And you can pull apart the weave and kind of make it distressed on the edge. Now the one thing with doing that and tearing it and where some of it left some of the paper on the back was that you can see on my, my layout here, the sample layout that I did, that in some cases it made it the paper bow a little bit and where um, this is the ripped edge and this edge right here still was kind of had more paper back on it and so this edge actually became rather bowed instead of straight. I didn't mind. I knew I was going to layer them like this and put them all on top of each other. So and actually it gave it just a little bit more stiffness which I kind of liked um, and I liked the fact that it was bowed so it gave it a little bit different dimension along the um, along the layers and it's fabric so you can pull it and distort it and move it around a little bit. Now what I did here was I put this, I actually cut this one out of that paper and laid it all the way on the bottom underneath. You can kind of see it's underneath all of my layers and I didn't do anything with that. I just cut it and um, adhered it to the paper but the rest of them then I tore. This one had no adhesive on the back of it when, once I tore it off and this one didn't either but these two each had just a little bit of, of paper on the back so they're a little bit thicker than the others but I really like that. Now I didn't do the obvious and attach them with a ma machine sewing uh, stitching. Actually what I did was I used some pop dots because I wanted to try something different. I tried um, liquid glue, like a, like a glue stick, like an EK Success um, Zig glue. That didn't work all that well. Um, it didn't stick very well. So I ended up using the glue dots just to on the corners because I wanted it to lift up in the center like this. Interestingly enough, um, I was just noticing before we were shooting this is that the only thing that fabric paper doesn't stick to very well is the other fabric paper. Um, but it sticks to the paper and anything else, chipboard, anything really, really well except for itself. Um, but also what I did then was take these circles and cut them out. 
of the um, the fabric paper and I just took my fingernail edge and, and ran it along the edge just so that it had a little bit more dimension in the, in the frayed edge so it kind of went along with the frayed edge on the frill um, and then I also used a little bit of foam dots underneath some of them just to give them a little bit more dimension um, and here's a case where I didn't fray it down here I just cut the heart out and didn't do any fraying um, intentionally on that one um, so I think they're super fun and there's so many different patterns you could cut that banner out of that one that we really like and, um, and fray that edge or sew it on the top do a zigzag and do some different stitching you know cut the clouds out so many fun things you could do with these cut these little flowers out and do some sewing or add some ribbons um, I had grabbed some of the Dear Lizzie ribbon. It's got such interesting textures to it also with the, with the grains and the velvets. Lots of really fun things you can do with this. Um, I also, because I'm, I told you before, I'm very into the mist and trying that whole thing out now. Um, I misted this one really quickly, just really lightly too. And because it's fabric, of course, it absorbed really well. And there wasn't any blotting or anything that I had to do with paper towel after. So it's really kind of fun. And you can take some of these solids and really make your own patterns if you want to. I think that's really cool. Um, so that's the fabric papers. The other thing that I chose to go with it is the new um, Sassafras Last Paper Whimsies. I know that um, Jamie showed you these when they came in in the warehouse video. Um, I just love the different ways that they have these. And I think they're really fun to do your own dimensional stuff with. You know, each one has a lot of different sizes in them of the flowers. And you know, you could create your own 3D dimensional design simply by putting some foam or something underneath them and layering them on top of each other and you've got your own dimensional flowers that you've created. Or like I use them, I use them singly in my layout and then I tucked them behind some of those um, fabric layers that I did and just kind of tucked them in underneath to give a little, a little extra added dimension to it or just use them as part of the design. Um, so there's, Three different packages of ones that have flowers in them. All different kind of fun things. This one is um, airmail, so it has via airmail and it has some tickets and some numbers and fun things. The little ticket admit one. And Razzle Dazzle has more of a rainbow color. Um, just a lot of really fun designs. And then there's the two that are the, the paper decks. And I like them because, let me see, I don't know if you can see this. This one actually shows a little bit of um, texture being that it's trying to look like fabric, but it actually has some texture to it also. It's not flat. I mean, it's thicker cardboard, but it kind of has a nice weave to it. Um, so it has a little bit of um, extra texture and fun to it. So um, those are my picks this week. Um, I hope you like them and um, watch for something new from CHA next week. Thanks.